Hey, Donny here from donnyatton.com and uvolve.com. I want to review something today. It's a new product. So the last lot of videos I've been making, you've seen that the sound quality isn't that great. And for making YouTube videos and instructional videos, which I do, it's not the best idea. So I've decided to invest into a, a microphone um, that's on the low budget scale, but they improve the overall audio quality. So at the moment, I'm recording through my webcam. So I used to record through my FaceTime mic and use the FaceTime camera on the Mac. Well now I've bought the Logitech HD webcam, so I use that for the videos at the moment and also for the audio, but the audio really struggles and suffers. So I think the next step in improving it is increasing and making better quality audio. So I look around and I saw this on Amazon and it's a Marantz Professional NPM 1000 condenser microphone. Not sure how much it is, I'll double check in a minute. So, on Amazon, these are currently retailing for about 49.99, 50 quid. So that's pretty good for a condenser microphone. Looking on Amazon and different reviews across the internet, it's got very good reviews according to Amazon and other sites on the web. So, it comes in this box. Uh, on the back it says features, 18mm diameter diaphragm capsule, a polar pattern cardioid, phantom power, uh, frequency response, da -da -da, sensitivity. All right, the box contents is the MPM 1000, which is the mic. You get an XLR mic cable, a mini tripod stand, a shock mount, and a windscreen. So let's open this up and have a look. Oop. So inside the box, what have we got in here then? Okay. There's the box. So inside the box, right, we've got some instructions. Got user guide instructions, uh, safety instructions, warranty, and let's have a look at what else we've got here. So it comes with an XLR cable, male to female. So that'd be quite handy. I actually bought a separate XLR cable at the time of buying this, so I didn't know it came with it. So that's an added bonus, now I've got a spare XLR cable. If it comes with that. It comes with a windscreen. Well, this should really bored, Pan's nose. No, oh, don't stay there. It comes with a shock mat. <laughs> oh, joking, shock mat, no. A mini tripod. And I guess the key important feature would be the microphone, which would be this. And that is the Marantz MPM 1000 condenser. And that's it, all comes in a nice bit of padding, all secure and safe. So, how do we put this together? Let's try and angle this down a minute. Microphone, boom, tripod, boom. So, you'll put the tripod on the desk, make sure it's all set up properly, stretch it out, and then it looks like would that be the way. There we go, that's that set up. The spongy windshield we would place on top of the mic as such. There we go, so that is now on the microphone. And we just place it inside the man, I assume it should just squeeze in. There we go. And look at that. It doesn't stay up. The key feature is it's a bit of advice is when you place it on the balance, kind of have it balanced against one of the legs opposite parallel. So if you look you can see here that it's parallel. Bloody phone is if you don't have it parallel with the leg it's gonna Probably overpower one side and lean, so yeah, just make sure you've got it counterbalanced. Then, got the XLR cable, I'm gonna put that in the bottom, giggity. And then, we're good to go. That's pretty much the basic setup. Nice, straightforward. Yeah, XLR. 
Might even want the legs high if you want. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> got to stop watching the American Office too much. And family guy. Right. So, in a minute, we're going to now hook it up to the mixer and see what the actual audio quality is like. So we've connected up the microphone to the mixer, which is a Yamaha MG16XU. This is why I'm wearing headphones as well, so I can monitor the sound. And it's pretty straightforward. We've plugged it in into channel one. We've got it connected to the computer by USB. And now you're picking up the sound. So this is me speaking quite close to the microphone. If I aim the camera down, you might be able to see a little bit. So this is the distance roughly I'm away from the microphone. If I get closer, you can obviously hear the, the sound difference and I'm moving further away. So a distance of maybe, let's try this distance. So I'm gonna hold the, it's gonna make a bit of a noise. Arms length distance roughly. The microphone is quite silent until you touch it with the shock absorber and I'm just talking into it now really and it seems to be quite smooth. I wanted to show you the difference uh, with the recordings of sound. So currently recording through the internal microphone and you can hear what it sounds like. You're now going to hear me record through the Logitech HD Pro webcam. So this is me talking through that. And finally, you're going to hear me record through the Marantz MPM 1000. So I think you can tell the difference between the sound quality. This mic, it's very silent for a condenser mic, you know. I think that having the windshield and the tripod stand and the shock mount, unless you get really close into the mic, and depending how you mix the setup through your monitors, I mean, the, the headphones are currently are turned up quite loud so I'd need to turn these down just a tad just a little bit because the, they are extremely loud right now and it's probably making a difference in how I speak with the headphones on yeah, as you can hear the tone is um if you're going for a budget step up so you're going you've been recording through your either your phone or you've been recording through your webcam or the built-in microphones on your computer this is probably going to be a good first step up and it's something that i'm now going to be using and for 50 pounds you know it's a really good quality microphone there's not much more to say really you can hear the difference in quality from the first two recordings onto this one things sound clearer smoother more crisp and of course you can post edit this as well so as long as you get a nice smooth vocal coming in the recording the rest of it should be pretty easy to post edit while there have been times recording with just the microphone built into the computer it's very hard to um, make that sound better because you've got a lot of um, echo and a lot of almost rumble sometimes through the microphones the webcam did make a difference it did improve the sound slightly but not enough not enough now if I want to start making higher quality, higher quality videos so I think audio will be very important and with the podcast coming up which should be the new season of the podcast it's going to need much better sound and audio so with the new mixer and the new microphones coming in you're going to hear a difference and i think it's going to make a huge difference actually on the quality of the overall show and if the audio sounds good pre-production it's going to sound even better post-production and it's just going to give you more confidence on the mic when you're talking for instance to the webcam or to a camera so yeah, this is Morant's MPM 1000. I'm going to stick a link down at the bottom where you can get it from Amazon. It is an affiliate li link, so if you do decide to purchase this item through my link, I get about 7%, I think, maybe less. Might be 3% now. Not entirely short percentages, but I get a little bit. And obviously, why do I do that? Well, it, the affiliate links will fund you know, myself personally to get extra gear to review or extra gear to use for the podcast and from websites and everything else I decide to use and I want to get better quality gear for my music and every little helps so if you do purchase through the affiliate link you know you're helping me and any questions about the mic any concerns or worries you, need, you want to know just message me I'm going to be using this now for the next lot of videos so you can hear what the sound quality is going to be like it's going to be used on season two of the podcast the Donny Arton show so you can hear it there in action as well so just have a listen 
to the shows and just send me a send me a message. You know, I'm easy to talk to and just ask me what I think of the mic. If I'm not using it in the future, I'll let you know. If I upgrade, I'll let you know. But at the moment, I'm going to be using the Marantz um, MPM 1000 microphone. So, take care. <laughs>